Hi everyone, it's Marva Riley. I'm in my kitchen today and I'm about to do meal prep. I like to prepare my meals in advance so that I have healthy food to eat uh, throughout the day. And I wanted to offer you a few quick tips. So I'm about to prepare dinner and I'm a nurse. I work 12 and a half hour shifts. So I have to plan in advance if I want to succeed on this health journey. So tip number one, you can actually make your salads in advance. Just make a large bowl of salad and you can fill, you can get some mason jars and fill them with that salad and stick them in the refrigerator and they will last for up to like five days will not go bad. Even if you're going out to the beach or something, you can prepare your salad in advance, put it in a mason jar, and then don't add your salad dressing until you're ready to eat. But yes, this is a great way to food prep and it really works for me. Now, in order to cook healthy foods, you need to do some planning. So make a shopping list so that when you go to the supermarket, if you have vegetables, nuts, grains, fruits on your shopping list, you will stick with it and you won't find your way in the cookie aisle or the juice aisle or something. So you got to plan ahead. When you go to the supermarket, look for sales like this big thing of organic baby spinach. It's usually $5.98. It was on sale for $2.99. You can ask the produce manager at your, your local store when they put these things on sale. Um, a lot of times they go on sale, not because they're not good, but they're like maybe 95% good and the customer won't buy it. Like this big thing of broccoli in perfectly good condition, okay? And they put it on sale for $1.49. Um, so they do put things on sale. This big thing of a uh, mushroom, which I think is normally $3, they have it on sale for $1.49. So if you ask your produce manager at your local grocery store, they can tell you when these things go on sale. So you have them at home. So when you're ready to prepare your food, um, it's the, your healthy food is there. Another thing, I'm gonna be cooking. So I have my water here with me gonna be sipping while I'm preparing my food. When I'm going to work, I bring water with me. On my way to work, I finish this water so I would have gotten 16 ounces of water in. When I'm going to work, I pack my lunch, I bring my lunch, I bring all the food I'm gonna need to eat that day. So I have my lunch kit and I'll throw fruits in. I always have nuts so I can nibble on, so I don't nibble on cookies. And I have my lunch, which is my largest meal for the day. So whatever I need to eat, I bring it with me in my lunch bag. You can cook things like beans, like I love lentils and all other beans I eat every day so I get adequate protein from these legumes. You can cook your beans in advance, put them in the refrigerator, reheat them as you need them. Like I showed you, you can prepare your salad in advance. Um, even your sauteed vegetables, if, if you're not gonna if you don't want to cook the sauteed vegetables in advance, you can actually cut up the vegetables. And then when you're ready to saute, you just put it in your pan and gently um, saute your vegetables. I think that is pretty much it for now. You just have to plan in advance. Decide what days you're going to exercise. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever days you're going to exercise, set the time and what kind of exercise am I going to do? What time am I going to go to bed, for example? What's my bedtime? Am I going to go to bed at 11 o'clock, get up at 6? Am I going to go to bed at 11 o'clock, get up at 5? Have a, have a routine for your sleep. Have a routine for your downtime when you just have time by yourself in quiet time. And as when you get your lunch break, for example, you could go outside, get some sunlight, get some fresh air, get away from the staff members and have some time by yourself. So the essence of it is that in order to succeed at your health journey, you've got to plan ahead. That's the only way to succeed and also find a system and simplify it to suit your needs. Okay, this is Marva. I wanted to offer you um, 
those tips. I hope that they help you. Be sure to like, share, and follow, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Take care and God bless you and stay healthy.